Mm. Cheers. There were tons of rain this year. Water levels have been really high and there was a big flood down here because of all of this driftwood flotsam, whatever you call it, debris. So the city's come along and cleaned it all up so the creek can flow again. And we got maybe a little score of fatwood or something if I look around in here. So I'm gonna explore a little bit. Raspberry bush. Raspberries, raspberry leaf tea. Yum. So there's a spot where a bunch of down trees, tree limbs, causing a little dam there, flooding further upstream. So that's probably the next part of this creek that they're going to clear out, I would imagine. There's water's still flowing. It's not very much. Jack, it's adventure day for us. The girls and I headed out to explore the local creek. We've made it to the park, across the street from one of the local schools, and the weather is definitely starting to turn. So I'm not sure we're gonna get very much farther, but I really wanna cook up lunch. I miss Canteen Cup Tuesday again this week. So we found this little spot here by the creek. The girls have their packs. Their wolves are here keeping me company while I make lunch. I'm going to whip up some chicken noodle soup in my Belgian canteen cup on my canteen stove. I'm going to use Esbit. And I've got noodles, a can of chicken. In here there are peas, corn, garlic, and green onion. I've got my water bottle with my cool Carolina Chris Outdoors cozy on it. And I got a bottle, my emergency bottle of Texas Pete hot sauce. It's in an old gunshot hot sauce bottle. I had to hide it. My Texas Pete I did from my family because I like it so much. And today I'm going to use my EDC keychain. That bag right there is my purse. And I carry this with me everywhere unless we're on adventure and I have my adventure kit. And inside of that I've got my little toolkit here, my Swiss Army knife my dad gave me. I've got a Fox 40 whistle, a mini Bic lighter. This is a magnesium bar with a ferro rod and just a little squeeze light. So, I'm gonna make some work. Never done chicken soup in the canteen cup before. Backpack boy has been sick this week with terrible allergies. It's like he's got a mega cold. And we've been doing a lot of chicken noodle soup and I thought, you know, I wonder if I can do it in the canteen cup. So we're gonna give it a try today. Oh, their boots and their socks. Backpack girls ditched their jacket. I think it was in the middle of summer out here. Good gracious me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do a fire back here, but I'm going to use my little stove and we'll make some chicken noodle soup, okay? Don't get in that water. It's too cold. We still gotta walk all the way home. Wait, what are you doing? Doing? Trying unsuccessfully to use a dead. Oh, there it goes. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's so cold and dark. Cool. All right, listen, we're making fire here, right? So you've got to be careful. Oh, cool, it's beautiful.
these are big noodles and they're not all going to fit in my cup, probably, certainly not if they expand at full size, so I like smash them up. Here, a little clove of garlic. Fresh garlic is good for what ails you when you're sick, so I put a lot of it in chicken noodle soup, so I thought I'd try today. I've never had it in raw noodles before, like this. It's an experiment, but I figure, really, how bad could it be? All right. Swiss Army knife here. Chop this up. I always have a Swiss Army knife with me. It lives in my purse when going adventure. It goes so in my it's pocket. Good, it's a really great little yeah, knife. My dad it's gave it to me. It's getting on its I was going on my first camping trip without grown ups uh, in high school. Which one? Right after the high school. I'm going prom, to have this one. My friends and I went on our first non chaperoned. Adventure in Algonquin Park. It was very nearly a disaster, but I did use this knife to make my very own first solo campfire. More snacks? Okay. Right, I'm going to chop up some of this green onion. Put it in half, the bottom white part, I'm going to put in with the water and the garlic while it's boiling. Alright, seasoning package from the noodles. And the peas and corn and the rest of the green onion will go in later. More snacks. You guys aren't going to want any noodle soup. You're not going to want any chicken noodle soup if you keep eating all your snacks. It's okay. Are you having fun? Okay, you should be sitting down when you're eating though, right? Stock in there. Garlic, onion, just bring it to a boil and then we'll add the piece of corn and the noodles. Thank you. Don't you fall in there. Try to keep the water outside your boots and not inside your boots. You still gotta walk all the way home. Fresh chicken's better, of course, but this is a backpack meal, so trying it with cans. Oops. Mm -hmm. Do you have new pads? In your backpack. Uh, new pads and shirt and underwear? No. Nope. Pants and socks. So I'm going to start adding in some of this chicken. Let it heat up in there too. Oops, not too much. Just a little bit. The girls are going to have a little bit. There we go. There we go. 
Next we're gonna go in with peas and the corn. And then come the noodles. This is gonna fill up really fast. I'm pushing the limits with this cup. Hey Anna, do you want to go back to the river or not? There we go. Okay, so I have extras. I'm only going to make one for now. So I've just put it all in there. The chicken, the corn, the peas, and then the onions on top because I'm going to get it chopped up a little bit more. And then if we decide to have another round later, we can. And I don't get a stinky, messy backpack. I've been trying to avoid ramen noodles during the Canteen Cup Tuesday challenge. But my mother-in-law sent me a recipe for ramen noodles this morning that sounded delicious. So that's why I try to make chicken noodle soup out of ramen in the Canteen Cup. Thank you, Jean. That's come along really nicely. The noodles are just about done. Now comes one of the most important things, the hot sauce. The Texas Pete hot sauce that Carolina Chris Outdoors sent me is wonderful. And my whole family loves it. And they keep stealing it out of my pack to use it on their stuff at home. And I almost have none left. So I took this old gunshot hot sauce bottle, cleaned it out, and put in an emergency stash of Texas Pete that's just for me. They do not like gunshot hot sauce. Perfect camouflage. Whoa, uh, 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 uh. Chris, thanks again, man. This is awesome hot sauce. I really like it. And Bill Gowdy, thank you for inspiring me this morning with your super duper hot sauce breakfast. It looks so good. I can't wait to dig in to mine. <laughs> I'm going to put in a good dosing because I'm craving hot sauce. Thanks to Bill. Fire. Back on. Let this just steam for a little bit. when I'm eating. There we go. All cooked up. Chunks of chicken in there. Onion. Peas and corn. Yummy goodness on a cold day with a little extra hit of garlic and hot sauce to make all things better. Yum. Mm. Whatever you're doing today, wherever you are, I hope you're eating well, and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching.